Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's my favorite run, it's the perfect storm, trying to get a 10 streak as Eden. We started with no face for a second there, a little freaky. AM86 Faz! We got Notched Axe and we got the uh, Caffeine Pill. Not gonna take the pill yet, I've learned my lesson from this many times. Rate of Fire, oh, ah! Rate of Fire seems crazy. Um, Damage doesn't seem particularly strong, but it's kind of unfair to judge it based on the first room here. I will indeed be using Notched Axe on this room. You might be saying, but Northern Lion, you know, best case scenario you get like a black market crawl space, but it's pretty unlikely. Why not save it for a room where you have Tinted Rocks? And that's not necessarily false, although the rocks part is, because you can only ever have one Tinted Rock on a room as far as I know. However, uh, three room charge on Notched Axe means, as far as I'm concerned, you should probably use it every time it's available. Uh, if there's a good reason to do so, if there's not a better place to do it, let's put it that way. Uh, this is not a particularly strong Eden start, but it is a particularly interesting Eden start for sure. I'll mm, thinking about going to that uh, that curse room right off the bat. It's obviously a little risky based on the fact that uh, you know we'll squander our spirit heart, may even put ourselves at a greater risk of dying, uh, ignoring the obvious implications of, you know, losing our deal with the devil chance. Not on this floor, but we, you know, we're losing our protection, our insulation against deals with the devil, uh, or for deals with the devil on the next floor, if that makes sense. In any case, I think we're still probably going to do it. <laughs> In spite of the, all, all my protesting here. Uh, card is the devil. And the item is freaking Death's Touch, oh my god! I'm not complaining, because I think everybody loves seeing Death's Touch. But it is making it a little easy on me, game. Let's take our pill. Hematimesis, that's fine. And, uh, this is the second time we've had Death's Touch just show up in an early item room. Second time in a row, I should say, which is just incredible. So, now I would probably say this is a pretty great Eden run. Pretty great start to an Eden run, at least. Hematomesis again? I'd actually rather not use it, just in case it went sour for us. Uh, you know, things going sour makes me salty, so we're gonna move on here. And It's certainly not a one run yet, but, you know, from the start of this, James West run of the West, Tame in the West, but, uh, for real, this is incredible already. I'm hoping that maybe we get, like, a nickel. At this point, getting, uh getting uh, five cents independently is probably pretty unlikely. This is another room, uh, especially with pots available, that is probably worth using uh, Notched Axe on. I doubt we'll find a crawl space, but it could happen. But uh, I doubt we'll find a quarter, but it could happen. But we'll probably be able to pick up a decent amount of cash here. Uh, nice amount of spiders as well. That's the kind of thing you're into. Uh, and we got Swallowed Penny in amongst the, the wreckage there. And then we got exactly five cents, which is awesome. We could either buy a spirit heart or try for a blood bank. I think I'm totally fine just trying for a blood bank on the next floor, honestly. Um, even though the, the spirit heart is probably more independently valuable, you never know how good the blood bank could be for us. Kind of hoping that maybe we can get both, though. We'll probably get Notched Axe again before the end of the floor, like almost certainly. But let's give it a shot, and now we're only two cents away from making it happen. Take them forever on this floor, but you know we can take forever on this floor, and then Death's Touch will probably uh, make it easier on us on the next floor to make up some time. If Boss Rush is really something we're going to concern ourselves with, I will use the Devil Card if we're fighting the Haunt. We can probably do fairly well against Fistula, I'd say, based on the fact that we already have Piercing shots. But uh, the Haunt, uh, we'll, we'll use the Devil Card just to simplify it. I really, really thought that would be a deal with the Devil. So with that, or a uh, secret room, sorry. With that not being a secret room, we're probably extremely unlikely to find it. Because there's just too many other, like, second best locations for it. There was one, like, most lo likely location, and then, like, four or five secondary locations. So with only one bomb, let's save that for the chance of getting a Tinted Rock on the next floor. And... I know what I said, but I think I'm just going to take Magic Mushroom and then say, oh my god, that's incredible luck, and head down to the next floor and not worry too much about uh, our current Spirit Heart situation. I really don't want to reroll this run. <laughs> uh, if we get enough keys to go to the item room, the shop, and then also be able to open that door, like that double key door, I'll go for it. But I would, I would really like to not reroll that run, this run. Come on, you guys. No more spiders. There we go. We got everything but one rock. I think that's pretty good. 
Oh my god, you're gonna give me, like, six keys? You're gonna have to give me a few more if we're gonna make this happen. Now I don't even know which one to open first if we get it, but maybe we can get into a secret room there. That would simplify my decision a little bit. My best friend is terrible. However, uh, we can... No, those were rocks, so that's not gonna be a secret room. That's a bad draw for us. Not the end of the world either way, but uh, a, a pretty bad draw for our second item room. Mind you, we did get Magic Mush and, uh, you know, also Death's Touch. So, I'm, I'm not expecting too much sympathy. That being said, it doesn't change the facts. Don't want to shoot that full health yet because there's a very, very good chance that's... Well, not very, very good, but there's a reasonable chance that we could get a... Uh, we could get, uh, you know, like a, an arcade. And if we get an arcade... Surprised they didn't call it a deal with the devil for once, aren't you? But if we can get an arcade, that would be fantastic. And, of course, that spirit heart helps us out a ton as well. Hopefully it helps us out enough. Not that it looked like I needed it yet. Um, before we go into our shop... Oh, that's not going to be a secret room either. Let's look for a secret room here, then. And then we'll go into our shop. <laughs> Uh, that's exactly as much money as I would have wanted to see. If we get something that replaces Notched Axe but is better, I'll take it for sure. And there it is right there. Ah, you know what? No. Hive Mind is, is so much cooler than Blue Candle. Blue Candle's kind of like, you know, coward's way out. We're already doing so much damage with our tears. What do we care about having Blue Candle? I would rather have uh, spiders that are way better. Bomb is good because there's a Tinted Rock back here. Hopefully, Small Rock. If you say it, sometimes it's just gonna happen. The amount of damage increases we've had on this run already is actually absurd. Uh, I would replace this... I don't think we need to use the Devil card here now. I would replace um, Notched Axe with, like, Guppy's Head. Especially now that we have Hive Mind. Shit, I'd replace it with Box of Spiders now that we have Hive Mind. Very, very stupid of me. Let's not get... Uh, too ahead of ourselves when it comes to deals with the devil. I just lost my last spirit heart. Slash only spirit heart. Speed and range. It's okay. And uh, Krampus fight this early doesn't make me a super happy camper, but... I guess no matter what we get, we'll probably replace Notched Axe with it. <laughs> yeah, that, that seems reasonable. Uh, we haven't done the entire floor. Let's go back and do the entire floor. We got the speed necessary. We got so much damage. Like, it's actually stupid how front-loaded this run has been already. I could, weirdly enough... Oh, man, I should have saved Notched Axe for this room. Uh, weirdly enough, I uh, could use a shot speed upgrade. Not because our shot speed is bad, but because we're so fast that if I shoot and move in the same direction, it doesn't... Like, our, our shots don't really leave our zone of influence. I would rather they did, so they could hit enemies instead of just hitting myself. We should have the range necessary to hit this guy. Had to wait for them to move into our, our sphere a little bit. Very bad use of Krampus's head there. I meant to use it on this room. However, I uh, I got stuck on a mushroom. Happens all the time. It's, that's why they got that song about it. I'm stuck on a mushroom. Boo, boo, doo, boo. I'm starting to blush soon. Boo, boo, doo, boo. Because we're not blue, baby. It's the best I could do. By the way, it's hard to find things that rhyme with mushroom. <laughs> Blush soon was the closest that my brain could come up with. I, on very, very uh, short terms. So I probably fucked up my deal with the devil chance there. But uh, at the same time, I don't feel too bad about it. That was a, a tough situation to ensure that I was going to get out of without getting hit. That room's always a little tricky. you got to do some, some quick mental math to... Get out of there. Mental gymnastics. That's what I meant to say. Uh, okay, no no bad trip. Alright. <laughs> bad trip. Don't die on this room. Okay, that's actually the really ideal outcome. Chose to come to this room because I was already like, well, we're gonna have already sacrificed that one best chance at a deal with the devil. And we've got a black heart back here, so... I don't really care if we take red heart damage, and it gives us a chance to maybe get, you know, a little closer on the guppy track, if that's something we're going to consider ourselves to be interested in. Almost use Krampus head here. I think that would have been a big mistake, considering we're, like, two-shotting every single one of these guys. And that guy is going to be, like, zero resistance whatsoever. 
probably going to be better off saving it for the boss. So we have like a 5% chance to deal with the devil. Well, let's say we, we start with 100. And then we're going to have minus 75 because I got hits. Um, uh, my math might be wrong here, but it's minus 75. Sorry, not because we got hit, but because we got to deal with the devil on the last floor. And then minus like 66 because we took red heart damage. So I think really short of like blowing up four beggars or something like that. Um, we're we're kind of shit out of luck. Maybe we'll just fight the fallen and cut out the middleman. Really thought we actually were gonna fight the fallen and cut out the middleman. But this is fine. A little bit of a quieter floor and a very very fast floor. I do want to get starter deck. Uh, I, I love that item. I will blow up our donation machine to make it happen, and I won't feel guilty about it because we have been getting uh, or we've been doing right by our donation machine a lot lately. Poor ladder never gets any respect. Doesn't deserve it, though, to be honest with you. Uh, and our second card is going to be Temperance, which is actually awesome. Uh, I'm going to use Temperance right now. Swallowed Penny will give us a few extra payouts from it. Uh, but in addition to this, this will give us a chance to spawn a Blood Bank on the next floor. And, you know, just some extra money as well. Uh, so that's... Totally fine. Is there like a red heart for sale in here? No, but there is a spirit heart for sale, which I can now afford. All right, that went very well, I think. Down to the next floor. That temperance card was basically worth like nine cents. Oh, and by playing it, we also got access to this room where we got another eight cents. So that temperance card, it's having some Ashton Kutcher, Amy Smart butterfly effect stuff going on there. I wish I could name another cast member from the butterfly effect, but you know, Large man from Remember the Titans and My Name is Earl is the only other one that springs to mind. Was James Reamer in that movie? I don't think so. Not the... Not the... Toronto Maple Leaf... Maple? Toronto Maple Leaf's goaltender. Rather, the dude who also played Dexter's dad on Dexter. Not to be confused with Dexter's Laboratory. Here a font card. I don't see any reason not to use that right now. You'll forgive me for not trying to throw some extra drama into this run, but I respect you too much to do it. Will he win? I don't know. The jury's out right now, Bob. Literally, lightning can strike him dead while he's playing the run. No, like, this is going to be a win. In, in, if you ran a simulation of this run a thousand times, there might be, like, three losses that come out of it. So I'd have to play pretty terribly in order to, to throw it at this point. I don't see it happening. If it does happen... I mean, I'm not going to say you should be thankful about it, but you should recognize that it's, like, a, an extremely rare run, you know? You kind of witnessed a, a comet or a shooting star or something like that. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think this is going to be an easy 10th win, and uh, we'll keep up at least that, like, 90% win rate. Which has me feeling pretty good. I don't know what I have to do to get, uh, to finally get a reputation for not being bad at Isaac, man. I had a reputation for being bad at Isaac in vanilla. I had like a 50% win rate. Fair enough, I guess. Now I'm in uh, Rebirth. I got like a 90% win rate. If not, maybe a little bit higher. And I still got a reputation for sucking at the game. There's just no... You can't get back from it, man. What's that What's that uh, joke? It's like if you build uh, 100 bridges but fuck one goat, see what they call you? The joke being that, you know, they're not going to call you bridge builder. Let's put it that way. I feel like that's it, you know, I sucked once at Isaac and now I, I can't escape it. Now, Swallowed Penny's fine, but I think Child's Heart's a little better for us. And what's our, it's Two of Spades and the Hermit. And the Magnet. Um, let's, let's take Two of Spades right now. And we'll take the Hermit with us. So we can get out of Boss Rush if that's the kind of thing that, you know, interests us. And it's looking like we will be pretty much right on time to do that. If we don't get a payout from our Blood Bank, it doesn't really matter. Probably shouldn't have used our Krampus's head so close to what I'm assuming is going to be the boss fight, though. We're at 1243. Yeah, we're going to be on pace for boss rush if that's something we're interested in because I uh, really don't think that... I mean, we're, we're probably not going to be out of this floor by 1330, which is really kind of my benchmark for that. Uh, but that's because we took so long on our first couple of floors. And if you're going to get mad at me for going to boss rush, man, we do it like once every four runs now. Lighten up. That steam sale is... 
not utterly worthless, but it's pretty close to being not so good. Is there another way back there that I didn't see? I don't think so. There's another red heart, though. Maybe we actually will get a Krampus's head charge. I think we're not. I think we're going to get a, uh, like, one room, then a boss fight. Hmm. Perhaps I've been mistaken. We will see. Death card. Well, it's going to make... And it was one room and then the boss fight, so I'm going to stick with Hermit and Devil for now. There's a justifiable reason to use uh, the Devil card against Mega Fatty, but... Like, this... I, I don't mean this to sound cocky, but sincerely, this Mega Fatty boss fight may be the hardest boss fight that we encounter over the course of the game with our damage relative to Mega Fatty's HP. Like, if we just get some crazy good damage items here, who's going to stand up to us in the future? Well, pretty much nobody. No deal with the devil. That's a little bit of a surprise for me. It was super bandage. That's pretty all right. Might as well find a way to offload a uh, half-decent Krampus's head charge. Yeah, okay, this is perfect. As far as I'm concerned, dead cat at this point is just more room for spirit hearts in the future. Plus, you know, the nine lives effect, which... Oftentimes ends up winning me runs solo. We're probably not quite at the point where we could just say, like, even if we have one HP, we're going to beat the chest entirely. Um, we're not too far off from it. And I would really be surprised if we didn't get a deal with the devil on this floor. See, if I'd gone back and played that blood bank with all that those red hearts back there, I'd have more money than I wouldn't even know what to do with. And I'd have, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to take this. And I'd have just sacrificed one extra HP and had one less spirit heart for when I picked up nine lives. It's not always the right idea. Goodbye, child's heart. You're a little bit less useful for me now, I'd say. I hate this room. Probably four? Can't just be two. Yeah, there's four. Five! No, okay. <laughs> Freaked out for a second there. Now, on this floor, the times are getting a little tighter. We'd probably want to be out of here by 16, 1630. The good news, of course, is that we can do uh, boss rush early and then teleport out. And we'll automatically go to our shop. But we still got to, you know, get there in, on time. And we don't have any... Uh, if we had, like, an Emperor Hermit card, it would be awesome. But we don't. We just have, just have the Hermit. Got to try this out. It's probably not the most efficient way to use that. But I'm kind of looking to offload Krampus' head at this point, man. It's it's alright. Like, there's nothing wrong with it innately. Just lately, you're going to be the one that saves me. But after all, give me some items that spawn flies because I have hive mind. Also, you're like my wonder wall or something. So we're going to be out of here a little later than I thought, but it's uh, or a little later than I wanted, but we're still pretty close. And we're probably going to have Curse of the Blind on the next floor anyway, if if past results are any indication of future success. So we should uh, not get too bent out of shape out of it anyway. Oh, oh. Easy room. Even though I took damage in the process, I think. And a judgment. I'll do it. Uh, I won't do that, though. I would do anything for health, but I won't do that. Just a little bit too much time wasted there. Now, admittedly, we have not been to our shop on this floor. We should probably go do that. Come on, dog. Judgment is he's playing the part of the commenters right now, being like, Don't go to Boss Rush! Chariot. Lovers. Emperor. Emperor Hermit. That's what we need for the next floor. No, okay, Cherry, get the fuck out of here. Emperor Hermit now means that we can take as long as we want. I knew you were on my side, Judgment. We can take as long as we want on this floor now. I really thought that would have gotten both sides. I a little too cocky about how much damage I was going to do there. Uh, let's go. So things are going to move pretty quickly here. My thinking is let's not... Uh, Let's not use Krampus's head, which actually sucks because I would love to use it against the cage. But I'll save it for use against Mom instead, although now that I think about it, Mom's probably a little easier than the cage. Also, Mama just killed the man, put a gun against his head, and then pulled my trigger. Now he's dead. 
Well, why'd you do that? I was, you weren't really thinking about that one straight, were you? Oh, that one almost got me. Nicolas Cage is, uh, he's fallen here. HP that we actually could use for now, followed by three items, two of which I would like to pick up. Ceremonial robes and headless baby. Wouldn't mind getting Sister Maggie. Unfortunately, it's just, like, not doable. We don't have enough HP for it. Thank God we got this combination, otherwise we would not have been able to make this happen. So I'm, as soon as we start the next floor, I'm going to Emperor card, then Hermit card, after the deal with the devil, and we'll hopefully deal with the devil and boss fight. So we'll Emperor. Wait for the foot to come down. Finish off like half of Mom's HP. Of course, now that I've finished it, I'm glad I saved it. Now that we've done our part there. Come on. You, if we end up not getting boss rush at this point, that would just be hilarious. Um... And depending on what we get in our devil room, which is nothing, if we'd gotten good stuff, I might have actually done the, the boss rush here. Uh, these are all pretty bad, to be honest with you. I'm actually going to take... S I'm going to take Black Bean, man. I thought I was going to take Stem Cells, and then we fight Super Greed as well. thought I was going to take Stem Cells, so we had kind of like more fuel for a deal with the devil, but that could have backfired so easily if we just didn't get a deal with the devil. Like, permanent Polaroid invincibility is somewhat important for us, but... That's a shitty boss rush. It happens. You know, you want to admit it when it happens. Um, that being said, it was a shitty boss rush, but basically we traded two tarot cards for Black Bean. Two good tarot cards. Is it, uh, was it worth it? It's possible that it wasn't. I'll be honest with you on that one. Something about the layout of this floor makes it appear enormous right now. Uh, I, maybe I should have taken Stem Cells. Could have played that guy. I can't believe we still have Krampus's head. Nothing is I mean, We could have taken Hourglass, I guess, but I'm hoping for Box of Spiders or Guppy's head, man. We'll check that out in a second. I just wanted to walk over the spikes while I still could easily. Um, Mega Maw should be an easy kill. Who comes next, though? It's the Husk. Oh, the Husk comes next. So let's use Krampus's head against Mega Maw because he's going to be more difficult. And the husk is going to go down with like 15 hits of these, which is equivalent to like 3 seconds. And we can't do anything about that. Finally, something to do with hive mind, man. And they're gone. <laughs> but we got a Burkano rune! Alright, now they're back. I don't really want to reroll my whole run. I might consider it. Empress Fool. Empress Fool? That uh, doesn't really feel natural coming out of my mouth, I'm going to be honest. Joker. Okay, we didn't get a deal with the devil on this floor. So I think we do... Oh, Guppy. Guppy dreams. We want Joker, Empress, Joker. Yeah, we don't want the Fool card so much. Um, and jo what we'll do is we'll use the Joker card to maybe get out of our curse room without having to sacrifice that second half Spirit Heart. I don't think there's any reason. No one has ever presented a compelling argument, let's put it that way, for why I should save the uh, Joker card for not the first floor where I don't get a deal with the devil. Like, there's no floor where the deals with the devil are necessarily guaranteed to be better, or even more likely to be better. Wow, that was a very lucky spirit heart. I'm not even going to, you know, be that excited about Ghost Baby, because as far as I'm concerned, Ghost Baby does kind of suck. But it, I guess it's nice to get it for free, but I would have rather had almost anything. So we'll pay a toll on the way in, and then maybe another Joker card. Who knows? Four tarot cards. Man. Oh, Hierophant is so good. Hierophant is so good. I was really thinking that could have been our third Hierophant card. Um, so we got Empress, Joker, Empress. Yeah, so we'll Joker out. Joker out! And what's our favorite of these? At this point, you probably want to go uh, Hairball. And that'll turn us into Guppy. And that's, it's been happening a lot lately. But hopefully you're not too mad about it. Because we got Hive Mind as well, baby. Forgot that that, I always forget this. That that does, doesn't actually save us from taking the damage on the way out. I gotta remember that. Admittedly, we are in a, a phase of our lives where Guppy is just happening all the time. But Guppy Hive Mind makes me a very happy camper. Fuck it, why don't we take Guppy's Collar? It's not good at this point. It's basically just a waste of spirit hearts. But what's the point of having spirit hearts if you can't throw them away for no reason, you know? So we take Chariot Empress, and we'll probably never come back for that Empress card. But, 
it does allow us to play this guy a few times at least. Usually pays out on the sixth opportunity here. Not not for good. Sometimes for good. <laughs> but usually, like, that's the first time when he pays out with something. It seems like it's always the second of the third batch of HP, which is a very convoluted way of saying the sixth time. This is going real well. I really thought I could get into that room before that shot landed. But hey, Gimpy paid out anyway. And Juicy Sack, Sticky Baby, sign me up, dog. Because that is going to mean more uh, hive mind spiders and flies, man. Yours and mine. Let's head down to the next floor. And we should have uh, pretty much literally no problems here. In fact, uh, let's move for a second. I'm thinking we drop left hand at this point. As much as I would love the free spirit hearts and teleportations to uh, devil deals. I'd be better off just kind of letting, letting nature sort it out this way, you know? Giving us some other consumables sometimes. One bomb, one blue fire. I don't think that's really worth it, but this was a good uh, curse room for us regardless. Still no mapping. That's uh, Having mapping is a bit of a rarer outcome in, in Rebirth than it was in Vanilla. Just, I think, because there's so many shop items in Rebirth compared to how many there were in Vanilla. In Vanilla, it was like a guarantee that you were going to get one of Map Compass Nun's Habit, basically. As, as long as you went to every shop, that shit was going to go down. That is definitely not even close to true in uh, Rebirth, but some of the shop items are better than those. Like, well, Nun's, Nun's Habit just, like, directly got nerfed, but, uh... And Map got nerfed as well. Which doesn't really affect Compass, but, uh... Mostly, I think the reason I don't like those items, or I, I don't value those items necessarily as highly anymore, is just because there's better competition, man. Taking a little bit of damage I'm not necessarily thrilled with, but now we probably are uh, in that position. Great hangman card. We're probably in that position where uh, if we died and had to do this whole game with one, uh, one HP but multiple lives, we could probably swing it. So, as far as I'm concerned, anything above one HP is pretty much gravy at this point. I am holding on to the tower card. I, I don't know. It could be useful on a room like this, even. Depending on when these guys choose to pop up. Our spiders and flies, man. They're so powerful. Chariot's pretty solid. We got Guppy's tail, which... And Guppy's... Oh, I thought that was Guppy's head, but actually it was just the nine lives cat freaking me out in the background there. This is the tower card again. It's bad news for Loki, but he's actually probably better off getting hit by a bomb than he is getting hit by our, uh, our flies. Chariot Empress still. I don't necessarily think Guppy's Tail was even a good pickup for us, but let's operate under the assumption that it was. Spirit Hearts? Uh, yeah, sure. It's fine by me. So Mr. Fred, and then Devil Deals for Mark and Pact on this floor, please. Why Mr. Fred? I don't know, just for, just for shits and giggles. Or Double Fallen, which is now not literally possible. Uh, because I've seen the room, and it's not large. Anything but Conquest would have been another way to put that. And we get, oh, Abaddon's pretty great as well. We might be able to take Abaddon and Book of Sin and not suffer any consequences, like, as long as we took Book of Sin first, but, uh, whatever is my response to that, I suppose. Let's head down to the next floor. And again, this is gonna be win 10. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling like, you know, you might be watching my my runs and saying, how is this motherfucker, you might be using even worse language than that, I don't know. I was saying, how is this motherfucker ever going to get a uh, hundred wins? He keeps talking about this triple digit win streak. How's he ever gonna make it happen? He's only getting to 15. I think it's one of those things where we're really only like one breakthrough or like six months of practice away from making it happen. Uh, I, you know, a lot of my deaths are a direct result of me experimenting. Like, uh, wow, that was fast. The Hermit card is not very good. Chariot Empress Hermit, uh, no, no, there we go. Um, the, uh, the last death that we had was the result of me just not understanding a very niche kind of like devil deal. If I remember correctly, it was like I took a three spirit heart devil deal 
when I only had two spirit hearts and one red heart, and then it killed me, and I was like, ah, that's bullshit. It's not bullshit, but it's it's non-standard, considering you could take a a red heart deal with less than enough red hearts, and it'll still not only let you do it, but like you'll survive as long as you have spirit hearts backing you up. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is not that that's bullshit necessarily, but rather that you know the, the difference between maybe a, a 15 streak and a 50 streak is just not making dumb decisions like that, and then you're just you know piecing together enough wins to make it happen. And I think we can get to a 100 win streak and still take bullshit, like, experimental risks at the same time. That's... I want that to be my hallmark. I want to be, like, that, that dude in the major leagues who threw that no-hitter when he was high as fuck on LSD. I'm not saying I condone, you know, Class 4 narcotic use or anything like that. I'm just saying I want to be that guy. I don't want to be the dude who, you know, consistently has a good ERA. I want to be the dude who people are like, wow, remember when that shit happened? That was ridiculous. So the two room uh, rerolls the consumables, if I remember correctly. Why are we still getting so many red chests when we have no left hand and Guppy's tail? Oh, okay. Well, I guess Krampus' head was probably not that necessary there. What do we have again? Empress Chariot? Are we ever going to get to use those? Like, I mean, I guess we'll use them against Blue Baby? Truth be told, we should actually probably use the Empress card against Isaac so that we have room for another rune or card on the chest itself. Lots of red hearts. Those are extremely meaningful right now. Is that a joke, Bobby? Why don't we use the chariot card on our next room? And then we have a space to take credit card with us. That sounds horrifying. Um, like that music there sounded horrifying. Because credit card, you know, if we get a Joker card plus the credit card, we can take a free deal with the devil instead of having to pay some bullshit, you know, HP fine for it. If nothing else, uh, definitely, you know, Book of Revelations is pretty good for us here. You could probably make a case for Book of Shadows as well. Uh, and Book of Secrets will help us find the secret rooms. Yeah, there you go. Which will help us find our way out of here, but... I think, you know, we got to be rolling with uh, Krampus's head. Just because it's the best offensive item, and none of the other ones really blow me away. And I'm not, uh, I'm not being a total idiot about that, am I? Is there, there was no Book of Belial in there. I hope. World card, we'll pop that. Hanged Man, we'll pop that. Just in, if it's useless, let's just pop it. Empress, death. Uh, death card's not useless, but I prefer to hang on to the Empress credit card for now. There's no Book of Belial. There's... There's totally a Book of Belial. I'm an, like the biggest idiot. Or I should say, I was almost the biggest idiot. Instead, I ended up pulling him back by going back and, and checking again. And I'm glad I did. That's Steam Sale number two. Gotta catch them all multiple times. Now let's take Book of Belial and never use it. That might have been the most satisfying super... Well, it wasn't super envy, but the most satisfying envy fight I've ever had. What did I tell you, dog? What did I tell you? That's why you use that joke or you save that uh, credit card. Shit happens and I want to be there when it does. I'm actually happy we got more spiders out of that. I mean, Dark Bomb is worthless and the Fear Shot is not going to make too big of a difference. However, the damage that Fear Shot gives us is then multiplied by the initial damage multiplier for flies and spiders, which is then damage multiplied again based on the fact that we have Hive Mind. So it does help us out. Like, quite a lot, actually. Not that we need it, but, you know, if you've already got enough people to help you move, it doesn't hurt to have more people. It just makes them move faster. Let's use the Empress card as well. This is the second run in a row. I like it. On the last run, I was like, we've gotten so lucky, we're destined for a shit run next time. Mm, not so much. It's the second time in a row we killed uh, Isaac before it could even do anything about it. Okay, so I'm very happy with all these. The soul, number one, when our range is already awesome, and uh, Rotten Baby especially, giving us some extra flies. You know, it doesn't hurt at all. It, like, it's amazing. Look at this. How can I complain about anything to do with this run? We got full HP. If we die, we uh, come back 10 times. I'm shooting scythes at an incredible pace. Every scythe basically allows us to summon flies that do a substantial amount more damage than you would ever expect. 
It, this is like almost all of the good items. We got Magic Mushroom, we got Small Rock. It's, it's insanity. And we're almost immune to bullets because of the soul. Okay, well, maybe I spoke too soon on that one. Remember earlier, I was like, there, out of like a thousand runs, we might lose like three of these. Out of, if you did a thousand runs of this, you're not going to lose any of them. Unless you're trying to. Uh, this might be, oh my god, the wafer? This might be like, you know, if you did a hundred thousand runs of this, you might lose once. I have an understanding of how probability works. What I'm, I'm seriously trying to convey that this is just an almost unlosable run. This is like a .001% chance of a loss, which is effectively zero. I mean, even in in science, they have like a 95% interval of confidence. That's uh, like to be confident that the hypothesis is proven correct or incorrect for the right reasons or the reasons that you hypothesized. That's 19 times out of 20. We would not die on this run one time out of 20. I'm serious that it might be 1 in 50,000. Now that you got the poop, that would probably change on sportsclubstats.com, but still. Um, this is uh, it's an extraordinary run. What makes it hilarious is that it's probably not the best run we've ever had. It's up there, but it's not quite the best. I mean, there's a spirit heart back there. Oh well. Um, kind of hoping we don't get any more golden chests. Just regular chests would do the trick just fine. Absolutely, we'll take Mr. Mega. And coming down here. Very happy. This is like our like our fourth or fifth consecutive, I think. Oh, yeah. Fourth or fifth consecutive 10-win uh, streak. That's pretty cool, man. I'm really starting to feel like I'm in my groove in, in Rebirth. I'm not saying I'm one of the best on a speedrun context. But, you know, you can set your watch to some of these Rebirth wins. I think we might have actually gotten every Guppy item now. Because I made the bullshit decision to pick up, um, like, Guppy's Collar, even though we didn't need it. Blue Baby survived longer than he, he should have. But in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.